Hey there everyone and welcome back. So we are learning to replicate the logos via various techniques. This, were, this is one of our handiworks. In the first couple of movies we tried with the WhatsApp. Then the mail icon, this is the image, this is our job. And the next that I was looking up for making the videos, I found that this is gonna be a great example. So I looked up for the screen flow and I think we are going to replicate this guy, which is the latest ScreenFlow 6 logo. Again, we are not the creators of the logo of this guy. It, it belongs, whole copyrights and everything belongs to the ScreenFlow. So I'm going to drag and drop it into my assets. And let's just drag and drop it. Oops, did I did that? Nope. And there we go. Okay, so let's go on to the sketch and I'm working on just one file so that you can look on whatever the work we are doing. So it's a good idea not to create many files because we won't be using them. So what we can do is I can select all of these guys and these are inside the mail. We have grouped them, no problem. And this is, okay, this is text somewhere. I'm not able to see that. Okay, where it is? Okay, this is handiwork. The original WhatsApp, I think it's good. Okay, so let's bring this guy onto our screen. And there we go. Very short guy. Let's move it a little bit up. And we know there is a lot of details going on in this logo. Like the color scheme, uh, these shades, but actually these are triangles. And this is a pretty simple obvious rectangle with some rounded corners. Couple of circles which are actually behind uh, this bar so it's good it is good so let's just try that so first of all let's get some guidelines out there okay and we're gonna follow the first technique in this case now notice there is a small shadow out here as well so we're gonna do that little details make big things okay so this is good let's just go a little bit out I'll press Z Z key that converts it into the magnifying glass and then I'll zoom it. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, so now I would like to press O for getting the oval. I'll look for the centerish point. There we go. Alt and Shift. And we're gonna drag and drop it. So I think this is good. Okay, this is good. Now this is not good. Now first of all let's change the fill to red and reduce the opacity so that we can see see it okay looks good now let's just select that and make it good so i think there we go reduce this looks like a fatty circle so let's reduce that and i think this is good okay now it's looking good and in case you are not happy with that you can move it a little bit out there from the arrow keys and there we go looks perfect almost perfect to me okay this is good now let's just move this guy out here and a little bit more we'll talk about the colors later on now how can i tackle these things the rectangles now there are a couple of ways you can just work on with the vectors actually that would be the best but let me just try with the rectangles okay r for rectangle and let's have something like this and what we're gonna do rotate that so let's just rotate that i think this is and let's align it out there and i think we need a little bit rotation as well yep that is perfect and there we go little bit out press enter to get out of this mode and i think this is good and I think this is perfect. Almost perfect. Okay. Looks good. Looks nice. Let's remove the borders. And uh, let's change the fill to something like greenish so that we can see what is popping out and things. Okay. Let's reduce the opacity as well. So that we can see what's going at the back. Now let's press R and get a rectangle again. Big one this time. And remove the borders. And we would like to rotate that as well. So I think there we go. And I think I missed one thing. Let me get enter. It's not rounded. So the inside thing is not rounded. Okay, interesting. 
Let's go onto the rotate and try to rotate this guy a little bit like that. Place it with the hands. And I think there. Not much. So let's, oops. Let's rotate this again a little bit. And why is rotate not working? Okay, I'll click outside, click on this. Oops, I'm clicking on the transform. How is it gonna rotate if I'll click on the transform? My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, enter. Making it a good size out there. Little bit out there. Reduce it very much out there. Now let's round the corners. And I think this is almost perfect. So 21, I'd like to go with 20. There we go. I always like to stick with the even numbers and not with the odd because odd do make a lot of problems. With experience, I can tell you that. Okay, and this is good. So let's just change the fill to something like reddish, reddish tone, and reduce the opacity as well. Okay. Now, what I want to do is select these two rectangles and I would like to click on the subtract. Oops, I did a mistake again because this rectangle, the this one should be on the top and Command Z, this rectangle and this rectangle. So this rectangle should be at the bottom. Okay, and now I can select both and click on the subtract so that it just leaves me a line out there. Okay, let's click on this line and click it again and we are into the vector mode. Oops, Command Z. I think this is good. Perfect. Almost perfect, not just. Okay, now we'll keep it out here somewhere. Okay, we will fix that later on or maybe just now. Like that. And this is good let's align this guy as well I think this is already perfect okay so smart guides are helping me I think red color is not a good choice because it's gonna make a lot of problems in the smart guides so let's get this a little bit greenish okay this is good now about the circle so let's remove all the guides out there and you know you can handle the things quite in a number of ways so let's just say O for oval and I think this is the center almost and press the key you know which keys and let's just zoom it a little bit and let's move it I'm using my arrow keys to move it okay I think this is looking good a little bit tight okay this is now perfect I don't like the borders and what we're gonna do is we are gonna make one more so O for oval and alt and shift and centerish point and there we go the outer point remove the borders change the fill to something like reddish not reddish bluish greenish and let's just reduce the opacity so that we can see through it okay looks good looks good and again my outer shape oval 6 should be on the bottom so I'll just move it up and I'll select both the shapes, command, and click on the subtract. Okay, so we got the logo or the round circle. Now what I'll be doing is I'll press my alt key and I'll be making a copy of the circle. Okay, looks good. So pretty easy job. And I think this is almost okay-ish. I will not call it, call it perfect okay, but okay-ish job. And I'll put my smart guides out there and there, there and there as well. Okay, let's get out here and I'll select this guy, shift and this guy as well. Now let's move them out there, I think somewhere there. Or maybe I'll use arrow key to move them a little bit. Let's go into the zoom. And I think this is not much space out there. And this is okay. This is going to work. So shift and let's use something else color like this. 
and now I'm gonna select this guy as well as this guy and press union so that it looks like this but you know the rectangle is actually looking full so command Z and I think this is just like that so this shape is actually not on the forward I can move it on the forward but this is actually on the back side of this and this is looking good perfect okay now it's time to change the color of the things so select this select this and this guy and let's change the fill to complete white move tone of the opacity to full and there we go let's change this guy color to fill make the fill of this color and uh, what else we can do bump the opacity already remove the borders okay this is looking nice already looking good and one thing that is not looking good is actually this guy so this guy I'll move it onto the forward and what else we are missing we are missing a border so we should have a border and this border would be not this color obviously let's have it a white color a little bit dark because I think there is a little bit darkish shade of white of course so I think this is good okay so now it's giving us a feel that it's a bow but I think a shadow would be much better so a Y shadow would be good minus one I think yes let's remove the border and yes this is much better I would say much sharp actually I like it adding our own flavors no big deal and I think this is looking good with the shadows because it's giving us the feel that yes this guy is on the top and these are on the bottoms okay now let's tackle the final guy remove all guides and V for vector this is easy click here click on here and we're gonna click here move it a little bit round ish like that click on this guy a little bit like this and press the command to make it straight there we go click here a little bit roundish not much and there we go and I think I need to go way into the zoom because this is messed up so command Z a couple of times and one more time so I'll go into this and I'll click there and now it's it's good like that and then I'll just click here just like that almost good take your time no problem in that press command and let's join the shapes okay now it's good let's click enter and I think this is good let's go one more time zoom and this is not a perfect job so let's double click there move these guys to a little bit out there this one a little bit like that like that and this one will go a little bit out and this is okay this is okay and obviously this will look so good and not like that obviously let's move this as well so I think this is good let's remove the border and give it a fill and this will look good okay let's go back a little bit zoom let's place our guideline so that we can place it onto a perfect place and there we go oops no guidelines there we go click on this and drag it out there so I think we'll place it here and change the fill color to pure white and this is a little bit bumpy here but I think you can work out on the, on that at your own time so although we can fix that just by removing this point and I think this point should go here somewhere and let's just remove this point as well I think this is better shape actually a little bit triangle-ish but we can just fix that as well yep I think I like this I like this there is a small bump there as well but you can fix that no problem consider this as an assignment I know this is mean 
but you can just work out. Now there is one more thing remaining in the shadows but I think video is going too long so let's just finish up this some finishing touch in the next movie.